my god, don't push me into him. He's gonna get your cryptard level up higher. And then you'll get better loot. I gotta change my weapon so I'm pushing him up here. Whoa, I just got two bounties in once. <laughs> Not dying uh, 100 kills and 9,000 in a row. <laughs> or so. No, wait, no, one of those wasn't. One of those was kill... I don't know. That wasn't, that wasn't Anderson. Shit. Fuckers behind me. Is this a fully all mag shotgun? Damn it! The cabal pushed me into his fire. Oops. Purple ammo. Time to feed my blunt. Dragon's breath, bitch. Fucking fucking fully automatic. Yeah. Oh. Shit. I'm mobbing me up here. Boom. Nice. Nothing. Oh, well. Sixes, guys, we got the science coming up. They walk right past me. <coughs> now, when it fires as fast as I can pull it, it's good for the shot. Healed up. Ammo shortages. Oh shit. Shield's gonna pop any second. <laughs> you 
focus on him. If I die, the shield goes, so I'm gonna try to just cover your sixes. Good work on the shield. But in the darkness run, more streets will come and we need to kill them. We must be ready to face them all. Once again, fate bringer man. Skin in the smoke wagon. I got Senior Blunt Wrap on my back, aka Dragon's Breath. I'd be happy if it gave you an exotic. I'm gonna head back to the tower real quick and clean my inventory. Check on, see what my progression is on everything too. It's funny how when you first make a character, you're all about the story, the loot, scoot, and shoot, the big long grind, but then there's this point where you hit where the only things you want to do are like weeklies and raids on hard. And I don't think I want to ever get like that with this game. I don't like to limit myself on any game I play. I don't like to take a game like Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption and then limit what is, I can do and how I can do it inside to much of an extent. If you, there's a little bit of manipulation to make like a structured kind of thing, that's one thing. Making a, a custom match in GTA. But when you're in a free roam lobby, like to not just enjoy that world that they made, um, it, it feels a little silly. You know, we talk about it when I play Grand Theft Auto, how I sometimes I just walk around the streets drinking and eating and smoking and just, just living like a normal guy. Not, oh, there's somebody that, that's walking by me, let me pull out and then follow down with a standard cop chase, dying, money lost out the window. That is fun. I love that. I've been doing that since GTA 1. But as the games have evolved, and I guess that's one of those things too, like I said, uh, being an older person and playing games longer, things like Grand Theft Auto, 1, 2, 3, Vice City, I played them all. So when I was back playing 1, going, God, how cool it would be if we could play a three-dimensional game, and then we got 3. And then when we're playing 3, and we're like, how cool it would be when we're playing Vice City and San Andreas if we get a multiplayer. And then we're playing 4, and we got multiplayer. So we kind of, you know, if you just jumped on at Grand Theft Auto 5, or Grand Theft you kind of, or the app ones, you know, you kind of feel like that. See what I get here. I uh, I need a blue fusion rifles. I need to feed my. I got that. I need to feed a couple more to uh, my pocket infinity bounty. Oh, I cannot believe I was fucking ranking shit up for the wrong kill. Usually I don't I don't do deal with any of that, you know, I just uh usually have some legendary random one. I don't try to do like faction whoring out. I just didn't have anything that cool looking for a for a totem to wear, like a little leg sash that I put on the dead orb. <laughs> <clears throat> That'd almost be level four Vanguard if I hadn't done that. Oh well. Really, I think if you're going to go for, you know, a weapon, go with, like, the Vanguard armory stuff, If it, as long as it's, like, got the little eye for Dark Below, you know, because it'll be a higher tier. But, uh, really just doing 
doing, you know, you'll probably end up getting like some of the best pulse and scout and all those things from just doing the raids. I mean, that's really, when it comes down, I'm not saying yet, but that when it comes down to it, when, you know, it's all said and done, some of, you know, other than randomly getting them by luck, you know, it's the raid ones. But, you know, it's teach their own. We talk about it a lot. Ooh. I got enough mode to light to go by that. I didn't even notice. Did Zur have, like, something to buy with modes of light this week? Let's go check I just know the one thing that I did. <coughs> Well, yeah, he has his upgrades. Let's see. You know, they usually have the, a random engram for 25 modes of life. Yeah, they do. Oh, it's a chess piece. Oh, 23 modes. I'm going to do it. 23 modes of light. And I have 23 modes of light. That's like, that's, you know, that's like Destiny. If you, <laughs> no pun intended on the game name. Like if I had 22 or 24, but I had 23 exactly. So. Let's open this up. All right, hopefully it's for my Titan, and that chess piece I need is down the drain. No, damn it. But I did get an exotic chess piece for my future Warlock. <laughs> but that's okay. That's like I said. I need Warlock armor to build it. I would like to have all three of my characters be level 30 right now, so I could do like three weeklies. And... I could break it down and get an exotic shard, too. Wouldn't even give me a preview of it. I got the um, Wolf Void Fang Vestments. Like I said, that's good. I mean, you know, I'm glad I remembered that. Would have been better if it was a Titan chest plate. But then again, like I said, it wouldn't because I would have had to juggle my. Uh, my exotic helmet. <clears throat> I mean, if you're going to have more than one exotic armor, then you basically have to have two sets of armor. And if you're going to have more, you know, I literally have like a set of boots, gauntlets, chest plate, and helmet that's one setup with one exotic for Crucible, my hunter. Another setup that's for like planet side. This character is no different. I'm starting it, but. Alright, uh, I'm going to go check my Vanguard level, and I'll be good to go to orbit. Just kind of do the math on what, how many things I can do and what I need to do. I think I can only do two more strikes for, you know, Vanguard points this week. Glass house. Let's see. I need. I suppose not. Oh, I forgot all about this chick. 852, which is about 85 green beacon missions. <laughs> that's because they're 10 each. So that that's how you can kind of figure it out. So uh, about 75 green beacon missions <clears throat> is what I would have to do to level up my Vanguard rank. So it's probably not going to happen today, but I'm going to go check and see what's left. We can do the dailies. It's not a goal. And then, of course, we can go do the VOG. You can come with us and open up the exotic chest. Maybe you'll get something really badass out of it. I can take you in there twice, too, because I have two characters with it. And there's no fighting required. You just have to jump up some blocks and you're done. Open the chest. It's either going to be legendary, a, me a mega legendary, or it will be a... Um, Oh, I guess I can just keep doing Vanguard Reputation in general. Okay. Let's see yeah, strike grinding is one of the best ways when you're like level 25 through 30 to get Ascendant Shards and materials by extra pointless legendaries or just legendaries in general, which aren't pointless. Just remember that if you get everything you're looking for out of a Vanguard Strike,